Let's get to the trades with Gina Sanchez. She's chief market strategist at Lido Advisors and a CNBC contributor. Welcome, Gina. You a buyer of TJX? So actually, I am a buyer of TJX. I think it's interesting. One of the things that we know is that the uh, you know tales of the demise of retail have been much exaggerated, and we've definitely seen uh, the retail sales number bounce in January, um, and you've seen actually a huge run-up in the whole retail space. Now, TJ Maxx is one of these names. It is definitely um, one that will benefit. If we are indeed going into a slowdown, cheaper is better. TJ Maxx is at the bottom of that spectrum. You know, the big challenge for them was getting, uh, you know, getting inventory, mm -hmm. but they're past that right now. So we're really looking for TJX to do well. All right. One U.S. comps are thinking 1.2 percent. Home goods maybe down eight and a half percent. We've seen that whole area of the market already being hit, maybe already priced in, too. Uh, Gina, we'll move on to Toll Brothers then in that case. After the bell this afternoon, the luxury home builder down 2 percent today and having its worst month since August. Lots of Twitter questions today about the housing market, including from Sherwood Lumber's uh, Kyle Little, asking if today's existing home sales data means the bottom is in for the housing market. Gina, Toll, what do you think? You know, look, I don't I I like the housing market, actually, despite uh, in rising interest rates, because we are in a housing shortage. Toll Brothers, however, is in a tough space. They were selling affordable luxury. And if there's one space that's going to get slammed, it's there because there you have buyers that are reaching to the edge of what they can afford and they need to finance. That is not a good combination. So I think Toll Brothers is probably going to have some wood to chop from here. Interesting, because some people would say I want to stick with the higher end, but you see it differently. I like that. The PE, by the way, back over 6.6. .6. So then that brings us to Coinbase out this afternoon. As we said, options looking for maybe more than 20 percent move. Uh, they're on a tear to start the year up nearly 80 percent on the back of rebounding crypto prices. Street watching for any signals crypto winner is thawing out. Fallout from FTX scandal as well. Diversifying revenue streams. Business model. Gina, are you a buyer of the stock? Look, this is a tough one to love. They're going to be down 77 percent on revenue if they just meet expectations. Wow. Now, yes, crypto winner might be thawing. We have actually seen um, we have actually seen a recovery uh, in in Bitcoin. But I don't think that we're still way below highs. And this is an area that doesn't do well in, quite frankly, evaporating liquidity. And that's exactly what's happening. We are seeing evapor we are seeing liquidity just going right out the door. And without that, you're not going to get flows. It doesn't matter what Coinbase tries to do, whether they try to move to subscription model, which is what they're trying to do. They're cutting feet. They're cutting their workforce. I have never seen a company cut into greatness. Hmm. Uh, so it'll be really hard um, to, to be uh, excited about the space. And, you know, Coinbase may do what it can to survive, which is, I think, what they're trying to do. But until we know what's happening in the regulatory space in the U.S., yeah. That's a big question mark right now. All right, Gina, a buyer of one of these, a seller of the other two. Uh, Gina Sanchez, thank you. We always appreciate it. Thank you for your time today.